In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quiz in rods to illustrate greatest common factor and least common multiple. So quiz in rods, these are colored blocks that you can use in the classroom and they're different lengths and the children can manipulate these and put them together to make different lengths of rod. And the smallest block, it's, it's a unit cube essentially, that represents one. The red one is twice as long, and that represents two. The green one represents three, and then the pink one is four, yellow is five, and so on. We're gonna use these to illustrate the concept of greatest common factors. So consider the question, which rods will measure a six rod? And what that means is using only rods of the same color putting them end to end, which of them can you use to create a new length that is exactly six units long? So one answer is the ones. You can always use the ones. In this case, just put six of them next to each other and you'll have something that's six units long. So ones always work. How about twos? Sure. In this case, we could put three two rods next to each other, and we'll end up with something that's six units long. Okay, so ones work, twos work. What about threes? Again, we can we can get the threes to work. Just put two of them next to each other and we'll have something that's six units long. So you can see what we're doing here is we're, we're finding factors. We're finding factors of six. There's one more factor. It's the number itself. The six rod will measure a six rod. So any number is always a factor of itself. Okay, so let's write down our results. So we had ones, twos, threes, and six. Those are the factors of six. Okay, let's do the same thing for the nine rod. Ones always work as usual. Uh, twos don't work in this case, but threes do because I could put three threes next to each other and we would measure a nine rod. And then the only other one that works is the nine rod itself. Okay, so let's write down our results. We have one, three, and nine. And then the question is what is the greatest common factor of six and nine? Well, the factors of six are one, two, three, and six. Factors of nine are one, three, and nine. What is the greatest common factor? Well, the common factors in those two lists, one is a common factor and three is a common factor. The greatest common factor is three. Okay, so the greatest common factor of six and nine is three. And that brings us to the general rule. The greatest common factor of two numbers A and B is the length of the longest rod that will measure both the A and B rods. Okay, another quick example. Greatest common factor of 12 and 18. Again, in the classroom, you do this using the, the actual quiz in our rods. You'd find that the factors of 12 are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Factors of 18 are one, two, three, six, nine, and 18. The common factors are one, two, three, and six. The 
greatest common factor is six. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is six. So that's greatest common factors. Let's move on to least common multiples. And again, we'll use the quiz in our odds. The question this time is a little bit different. What lengths can be measured by four rods? Hmm, okay. Well, let's get the four rods and let's, let's find out. Well, four is a length that can be measured by four rods. If you just put one of them there, if we put two, eight is another one, 12 is another one, 16. Okay, so you can kind of see the idea here. Let's move these out of the way again. And write down our result. So our result was what lengths can be measured by four rods? Four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. What lengths can be measured by six rods? Well, let's get the six rods. So a six, a 12, an 18, and so on. So you'll notice what we're doing here is, is we're finding multiples. Okay, so lengths that can be measured by six rods, six, 12, 18, and so on. What is the least common multiple of four and six? Well, we've written down the multiples of four and the multiples of six. Let's look for the common ones. Well, I can actually only see one common multiple there, 12. It is the least common multiple. So the answer is the least common multiple of four and six is 12. So the general rule here is the least common multiple of two numbers A and B is the shortest length that can be measured by both the A and B rods. And finally, another quick example, least common multiple of four and 10. Again, in the classroom, you'd do this, the children would do this with actual quiz in their rods and find that the multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, and so on. If we look at the common multiples, it's just one. It's 20, it's the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of four and 10 is 20. So we'll continue in part two of this video by looking at how to write repeating decimals as fractions.